we are united. We are united in our shock. We are united in our anguish. An attack on one of us is an attack on all of us. <laughs> For all the noise and all the fury, we are one family. These were our brothers and sisters in the line of fire. These were our brothers and sisters who ran into danger and sa saved countless lives. So before this house returns to its business, let's just slow down and reflect to think about how we're all being tested right now because we are being tested right now. I ask each of you to join me to resolve to come together, to lift each other up, and to show the country, to show the world that we are one house, the people's house, united in our humanity. It is that humanity which will win the day, and it always will. To my colleagues, you're going to hear me say something you've never heard me say before. I identify myself with the remarks of the speaker. <laughs> They're beautiful remarks, Mr. Speaker. Thank you so much. It seems particularly sad, although any violent death, of course, is sad, but particularly sad that at a time when we, people want us to come together and we're prepared to come together tomorrow night that this assault would be made. But we cannot let that be a victory for the assailant or anyone who would think that way. So tomorrow we'll go out on the field, we'll root for our team, we want everyone to do his or her very best, and we will use this occasion as one that brings us together and not separates us further. 